In this video I'm going to show an example of an environment from a dystopic setting. This is a Collar's Workshop from Deus Ex Mankind Divided. And the first thing you'll probably notice is it's very non-minimalist. There's lots of clutter everywhere around the room. It's quite a tight space. There's lots of technology scattered around the room such as uh, these transparent TV screens. There's all kinds of computers, futuristic looking laptops over here. And there are a number of prosthetic arms and legs hanging from the ceiling. Another thing would be that a lot of the room is made out of metallic materials. And it's very dimly lit, which is often a common theme in dystopic worlds. I'll give you a closer look at some of the objects and features of the room. Now I'm going to show you a section of Gollum City, which is a large ghetto that's been built to house Prague's augmented population. First thing you'll most likely notice is it's very dirty. Poverty is rife and a lot of people are sleeping rough on the streets. Now we'll head up to the marketplace. There's a heavy police presence here. Lots of armed guards are patrolling the streets. The police are seen as quite an oppressive figure in the ghetto. They often commit a lot of brutalities against the people and restrict their rights. This is often a common theme in dystopic worlds. In terms of the architecture, the majority of the building materials are metallic and buildings rise high up into the sky. The lighting is very gloomy and dim, which gives off somewhat of a depressing feeling. Many of the people appear to be quite depressed. They often cover their faces with hoods and scarves. What I think makes this a perfect example of a dystopic universe is that we've moved so far in terms of technology, yet society has become more, un more uncivilized and far more aggressive. The example being how augmented people are treated in this world. They're segregated from regular humans and forced to live in separate ghettos from them.